Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thank you for meeting me for another fantastic week. And if I can start off by saying thank you so much for your support for the clothing drive. It was absolutely fantastic. It was the third one that we've done. We did it a week ago um, Sunday and it was the third one that we've done and we've grown every time. Every single one that we've done, we have grown where we have more people donating <clears throat> and we actually have more people taking as well. So it's absolutely wonderful. And you know, for all the times that I read on Facebook, oh, you know, there's no good people anymore. Or, you know, I've lost my faith in humanity. Hang out with me for a while. You'll get your faith back because there's a lot of awesome people in the world. So a big shout out to everybody who got involved. Thank you so much. Also to the Moose Lodge who donates the haul for us, which is fantastic. So we filled, um, I was talking to a group this morning, probably 14 eight foot tables in total, 98% um, full of clothes. And then the rest was some random items. There was a little bit of toys there, some shoes. Um, oh, tablecloths, curtains, towels, you know, that sort of thing. But for the most part, it was clothes. So thank you so very much. It was absolutely wonderful. And it was just, you know, perfect timing, right? For so many people. It was nice to see people walk in. You know, I stand at the door um, and I greet everybody and I give them all bags. But some people are really on the ball, you know, they come with their metal carts or their own shopping bags. So people left with bags piled so full. It was absolutely awesome. So it was a great turnout, great time. So um, thank you so much again. <clears throat> And moving forward, the next one will be at the end of August, or October rather. So if we keep one at the end of May and one at the end of October, then that seems to have some balance, right? I don't want to do it too much. I know there's people that, you know, sell their old clothes on Mummy Market, um, <clears throat> that sort of thing. So I don't want to take from that. But this is something that I think really is needed by the community. And, you know, it's just another random act of kindness. Maybe it's not random because we put some planning into it, but it's still, you know, a positive ripple in the big pond of life, right? That's what we need more of and we need to, to do some stuff. So if you're not in this community that you can participate, maybe in your own community start something or just do, you know, little things. I was going through a um, coffee shop drive through yesterday I bought the person behind me's coffee, cost me $2.10, you know, how much should that make them feel good um, for something that only cost me $2.10? Very well worth it, right? And <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I've told you before, it's, it's humid, right? I'm pretty sure I've told you before um, that when I'm going through drive throughs I'll ask the person, the um, customer service person. How much is the order for the person behind? So I don't feel bad if I have to say, you know what, I just can't afford to do it this time. Sometimes people have a $20 order, right? So just do what you can where you can. So I just make sure it's in my budget. And if I don't end up picking it up, that car is none the wiser, right? So I threw it out there and either it was the right time or it wasn't the right time. And then of course there's things you can do for free. Like, um, I'm off today. As you know, obviously, I, I pre-record these videos. Um, so I'm off to Art Walk to give some free hugs with some friends. I went to the dollar store. I got some Bristol board. Cost me a dollar. For that one dollar, I'll be able to make two signs. And just free hugs is what it's about, right? So going out, some positive energy, doing some stuff, spreading the love. You don't know what somebody else is going through. So if you're kind to everybody, you just, you can't go wrong. You're making the world a better place. So when you catch eye contact with somebody, say hello. When I'm driving in the country, because I drive a lot um, through work and whatever, um, I wave at farmers. I see guys cutting their grass on their on their uh, ride on lawnmowers. I give them a wave. They probably spend all day going, who's the chick waving at me? But I feel good, they feel good. When was the last time they were appreciated? How many people live on farms that have very little interaction with other people, right? Food for thought, things to think about. So again, thank you so much for supporting all the stuff that I do. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll start a little bit of a movement on your own. 
So there you go. Have a great one. Look after yourself. And we'll regroup next week with lots of other awesome stuff to talk about. Don't forget how amazing you are. Anything is possible.